You know, people ask me, when you were a teenager at high school, I went to secular schools you know, in Australia. Was I a religious person or not? Alhamdulillah, I was. But it was very difficult. It was very difficult. You know, it's not that easy. You have to be challenged. I went in year seven and year eight, and the students who were there, they bullied me. They bullied me because I was talking about Islam. I talked about Islam all the time. The people who hurt me the most were not the non-Muslim ones. The ones who hurt me the most were the Muslim friends. I used to be friends with them in primary, but there was no Islamic schools in high school. When we went in, they couldn't identify themselves as Muslims. And when I came around, they avoided me. And they even made fun of me. Wallahi, I went through misery. As a young child, it's like a, a prison, but without the lethal side of it. Teenagers they go through a lot, man. Wallahi, I, I, feel, I, feel remor I, I feel sorry for them sometimes because they go through a very big hardship. As a teacher, I counsel them every day. It's very difficult for them what they go through. What kept me on the straight, what kept me strong was one thing. My father, he used to teach me so much about the Sahabas of the Prophet And I used to remember them, that what they went through. I used to remember Khubayb and Khabbab ibn al-Arat radiallahu anhu. Khabbab ibn al-Arat radiallahu anhu. He was captured by Abu Sufyan when he was still a kafir. And he was tied to a pole, to a tree. And he began to say to him, Ya Khabbab, if you say, if you just say, I wish that Muhammad وسلم, was here in my place and I was with my family comfortable at home, I will let you free. Just say it. And Khabbab said to him, I wish that I will be tortured here and not to even hear that Muhammad وسلم, is hurt with a prick of a needle. So he cut off his right arm. He repeated it to him again and Khabbab repeated the same thing. They cut off his left arm. He repeated the same thing until he cut off his legs, then his nose, then his eyes, then his ears. And in the end, he stabbed him. Then Abu Sufyan looked around and he said, I have never seen people who love their master as much as what this youth loves their master, their prophet. What kind of love is this? They stood firm with their identity and they are our greatest role models. Allah has left them. If I ask the youth, how many celebrities do you know? MashaAllah, they count a hundred just by sitting there. How many Sahabas do you know? Read about them, my brothers and sisters. Wallahi, they are something beyond this world. Something beyond this world.